Hello. Hello. Welcome back. This is Ken for 1913. And Ghost of Films. And we are left playing Star Wars 2 uh, Dark Forces. In the last episode, Dan had his first Jedi fight with a Jedi. Yeah, he was a little baby Jedi. Yeah, but he... was he... just taking his first baby Jedi steps. Yeah, and he uh, pretty much cried about something. You got a bar of chocolate, Dan? Uh-oh. Good. <laughs> I thought that mine was just going to come right back up and blow me up, but I could have moved. Huh. So you have a bar of Hershey's chocolate on you. This is actually a proximity mine. Oh. I'm going to drop it down there, and the stormtroopers that are down there are going to detect it, hopefully, Bleh. and then blow it up. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> Wait, why, is it, why did it stop like that? Oh. There you go, Dan. You killed more guys. Ooh. So I'm in the tower, Pete. I'm in the seventh tower. Oh, finally, you're gonna reach 88. No, he, he escaped. No, he didn't. I thought he, he was just sitting there. Well, then that the other Jedi came, that dark Jedi came out, and I and then he escaped. Oh boy, Dan. How come? How come? In these games, the bad guys have infinite supplies of themselves. I don't because know. they're having clones and shit? I don't get it, Dan. There's only one of you and there's millions of them. It makes me weird. I wonder, like, I always think, like, it, it's weird how there, you go into all these rooms and they're just bad guys standing around doing nothing, and it's like, why? What, what were they doing? Yeah, what were they, why were they there? Just like, but I guess you kind of have to expect that if it's a game about chopping people up, there's got to be rooms yeah, for yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can chop them up, yeah. Yeah, you gotta be able to chop up, guys. I mean, yeah, you gotta slice and dice. You know what would be a good game I was just thinking about now? What? be a great game to play would be... Cuisinart uh, the game? No, no, no. This is even better. Uh, um, you get to play, like, Nightmare on Elm Street or, like, Friday the 13th, but as Jason huh. and Freddy. How cool would that be, huh, Dan? I don't know. That would be kind of... I don't That'd think I would like cool. that at all. Why not? Because then you'd be killing people who didn't deserve, who weren't hostile. What are you talking about? It'd be the be they're trying to kill you after you kill all of them. Granted, no one's gonna want to play as a. I think Freddy Krueger ended up being a pedophile, right? Doesn't Jason? Um, doesn't he uh, just run after people who are having sex? Oh yeah. Like yeah. I wouldn't want to kill people who just wanted to do it. I'd yeah, probably just watch it from the bushes. <laughs> yeah, but you get to pick like when you're watching them. Like, you can hit the masturbation button. <laughs> like, they give you options. Like, you can you can do all kinds of cool stuff, and you can jack off. And then, like, eventually you can change, like, your classic chi-chi-chi-ha-ha-ha -ha -ha thing. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? And then you can have, like, something else. I forgot to uh, show off my new force of... Whoa. You figured out how to do it? Oh, look at that. You just stole their weapon. Yeah, huh? and I was defenseless. Now I mean, I'm going to go chop him down and do exactly what I hmm. said I wouldn't do if I was Jason, because I'm a hypocrite. Take that! <laughs> yeah. Way look, to go, Pete. Dan. Did you see that TIE bomber bombing the, the two towers? Yeah, way to go, 9-11 all over again. You really like bringing up 9-11, huh, Dan? Well, I, they said never to forget. Oh, my God. That, that That is just uncalled for. It's a good thing this was this game was made before 2001. Or yeah. That would be inappropriate. Yeah. And then they, we need to censor them. Yeah, probably. But, uh, no, I, I really think that would be a good game. Wow, I don't know why anyone didn't think of it. I mean, there was a game where you got to play as Jaws. How cool is that? Really? Yeah, it was called Jaws, and then it had something to do with... Jaws, the home game. I forget what the name of it was, but you played as Jaws. It was awesome. I didn't end up playing it, but it did have the original score and everything. It There's a guy with a rocket launcher up on that ledge. But for some reason, you can't uh, kill him. No, well, then don't worry about it if you can't kill him. Well, he man. can kill you, though. Why are you trying to kill him? Just let him be, Dan. Like that song that, that those guys dun, sang. Dun, dun, dun. Are you singing Let It Be now? Yep. You can't get to the part where everyone knows where it is. Let it be, let it be. Dan, I don't think you're hitting him. Don't you shoot me. He's not gonna shoot you, Danny. He just fired a rocket down at me. I don't think so. Yeah, I saw it, Pete. 
You don't have a rear view mirror on. How do you know? I heard it and I saw that. I saw it come down. I didn't hear it or I didn't see it, Dan. That's because you were talking about the Beatles. All I'm saying, Dan, is make a game where you get to play as Freddy and then you get to kill like a whole bunch of different things and guys. Ooh, I could have sworn I usually had a rocket launcher by this point. Yeah, there it is. And then, like, you know what you could do, too? Like, Freddy could have, like, uh... I usually sh I have to go down there later, but and I usually like to shoot rockets down here, but I don't think they die. Yeah, so Freddy would have like all these kills, and then there'd be a part of the game where it's like Whoa. Freddy, it'd be Freddy versus Jason. You'd have to kill him. You gotta pick your side, and you gotta play. It. I think there was a game. I could be wrong. I think there already was a game. Alien versus Predator, Freddy versus Jason. But whenever they make a game based on some sort of license thing, it's always garbage. Yeah. Except this game. Like, games are, it's like, actual companies for that, like, work Whoa. on a thing. Way to go, Dan. You just fell down a thing. Yeah. Because it's exactly the thing that I meant to fall down, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're very smart, Dan. I am not smart. I am, uh... <sighs> I'm not smart. Yeah, that's cool, too, I guess. Oh, God. I think I have something wrong with me, Dan. I think I have, like, some sort of first-person shooter-itis. Really? Yeah, I notice, like, every time we play and we do, like, some long sessions of playing, like, first-person shooters, I start to feel a little nauseous. I don't know why. It's weird. Is it because... I don't know, Dan. I think it's because, uh... I don't know why. I think there's a. I think there's too much gray and brown. I think it just makes me like make my tummy go gurgle, gurgle. So and not colors like, make you like. And me, like it's an, nervousness that makes me poop. For you, it's browns and grays. Yeah, like way too many of them. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of brown and gray. Maybe my brain is just at a new level where it's like I can't look at these graphics for like a long time and not feel a little nauseous. What is my thing made out of plastic? Yeah. Damn, I was, I was listening to some funk the other day. Yeah? Let me tell you, I like it. Was it James Brown? No, it was the, uh... Oh, fuck, I can't remember the name of the band. Was it the Red Hot Chili Peppers? No, no, no. This was a band full of uh, black people, Dan. Was it, uh... It was called the... George, uh... George Clinton? No, but I do like George Clinton. Oh, shit, what was it called? It was called, like, the, uh... <sighs> Forget the name. I think it was called What You See Is What You Get. What you see? It's what you get. <sighs> it was on a... It was on a, uh... It was on a show that I was watching, and I'm like, man, this song is good. So then I went to go find it, and I'm like, god damn, this song is good. These people know how to pick uh, the songs for the shows that they're good for. But yeah, you ever find that, Dan, where you're listening to stuff, and then you gotta pause the video because there's a phone call? Alright, we're back. Oh, the name of the group, by the way, I just remembered. It was called The Dramatics. That's what the name of the group was. And they had cool guys in there back in the... Whenever they were guys. I mean, I still think they're guys. So they, they could be girls now. Dude, you should be taking guns out of people's hands like left and right. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know. I think it's too easy that way sometimes. Oh, come on, damn. What, are you trying to challenge yourself? You're a Jedi. These guys are a bunch of... Guys with guns. I feel like there's less thought involved. Oh, there isn't. And because I, you gotta and think about how to use their guns after you take them away from them. And it, that way, it's almost like I have a gun that disarms people. Yeah, it's almost the like best. the same thing. Isn't that, isn't that the best when you have a gun that disarms people? Pete, would a samurai use his force powers to pull a, a sword out of a guy's hand? No, but you, samurai, if he was fighting a guy with a gun, he'd probably get murdered. Remember in that movie, uh, Yojimbo, when the when the samurai um, threw a he there was he was up against the guy with the gun and he threw a knife at the guy's hand, and then he uh, then the other guy just cried. Yeah, and then he chopped him with his sword. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of Jedi I want to be. 
Oh, you want to be your Jimbo? Yeah. Well, then good luck with that. Are you gonna fight him or what? Yeah. Yeah, remember that game before when I when I had to fight all you guys with my fists? Well, you're not so tough now, are you, Kel Dragon? Huh? Oh, in your face when I had to fight like 15 of you Kel Dragons and Pete was talking about Tone Loke and how he was my brother and being oh, very right, distracting. Right, 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 right. I don't remember any of that, but I'll believe you. I have a lightsaber now. Yeah. Look how slow that elevator is. They need yeah. to have an elevator repairman come and fix that elevator. Yeah, this they is do. just BS. This is l really low and slow. Yeah. I got places to be and people that murder. Yeah. Because I've already talked about it, but what about Dana? If you know, why don't you why don't you take into consideration? Like all the people you're killing, all their families, like and shit like that, you know? Uh, you're not even taking that into consideration, are you? Nope. Their families. They're just not good families. Yeah, I guess not. They don't write each other greeting cards at the holidays. They don't, um. Uh, you know. That's they, about it. They don't, okay. Really, they just the greeting card thing. Dan. Quite honestly, I don't really write greeting cards either, so I'm not a good family either. You're just one man, though. Yeah, I'm only one person. And how can you be considered a family with one dude? I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> no, nah, Dan. Dan, you're dumb. You're right. And there's a difference between stupid and dumb. All right. I'm, like, I can't hear very well. I mean, I can't speak, What is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, they used to call people that. I was, watching, I was watching a show where they called the... They called the... The Whoa. kids morons. It was great. This is a show based back in like the early 1900s or whatever, <sighs> and they called the yeah I'm full I got a school full of morons, but that was the correct term to use back in the day. Wasn't yeah, it? also idiot was a technical term. Yeah, idiot morons I think they call them. Like fucking asshole, stupid idiot morons. Yeah, That's stupid what... fuck face pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah. Fucking human piles of garbage morons. <laughs> <back to it. laughs> Doctors were pretty harsh yeah. back then. Yeah, they didn't give a shit. Yeah. They're like fucking turd fucking shithole pieces of shit. Mouth breathing faggots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like for like parents, like they 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 used to just license. They're like yeah, the whores. Oh, women. Whoa. They're loose oh, women. Yeah. Women. They just call them whores back then. It was like literal code. Like a doctor would come up to me and it's just your vagina's just flapping in the breeze yeah. with your giant labia. Put your meat currants away, woman. <laughs> yeah, man, doctors were messed up. Yeah, this was this is a great show, by the way. You should watch it. It's called The Clip. No, it's called The Nick, actually. It's a good show. Look, Pete, it's an Imperial Commando. Oh, look at that, Dan. Looks like fucking... It's like... What's his name from oh, that, that movie? Dark Helmet. Why am I going so slowly? I don't know, Dan. Is it because you're a puss? Maybe. Where are you now? Are you still in the tower? Are you where? Are, what's I'm in the tower. On? I'm in the ventilation yeah. system, just like Die Hard. Yeah, but boom, like boom, worse boom, because. Boom, 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 boom. Because Die Hard, Die Hard was cooler. So you're not in Nakatomi oh, Tower. Oh, then. oh no! You're not in Nakatomi Tower then. No, it's a, it's one of those towers. You know, John McClane wouldn't have gotten pulled pushed out of the uh out of the ventilation system by a giant gust of wind. Well I can't hear the sound of the wind, so I don't know when it's blowing and when it's not. It's blowing. Do it. It's supposed to be not blowing. No, you jump down there and then you jump to the other one. No. No, Pete, you lied. There's another one over there. Use your force speed. Yeah, but I want to get the secret speed. Oh, fuck secrets. But the secrets are what is, is used to determine whether or not you get those stars. Oh, okay. And I want a star, Pete, because I'm a good boy. Yeah, what about a scratch and sniff stick, too, Dan? Oh, hell yeah. I'll take a scratch and sniff all day. I'll, I love smelling things. I know. I used to like the orange ones. Yep. Those are my favorite. Yay. Oh, crumbs. Uh oh, here he goes. Ah! Probably should have saved it prior to that. I'm going, I'm going deaf, Pete. Why? Because I can't hear anything. 
You can't hear anything? Yeah, usually I rely on the sound of the wind to know when it's safe to jump. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. You ready? I can't mm -hmm. fucking hear it, you POS. Ready? Can you hear it? Yeah. I think so. You hear the helicopter, too? There's a helicopter. It's a helicopter. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Could be... You know, also, you can... Whoa. Could be a helicopter, I think. They usually circle my house around this time. They're, they're talking about how they they want me to. They're like, if you can just surrender, stuff like look that. Look, I'm gonna balance on a ledge. Oh, look at you. You mind if I lower it again? Go ahead. But yeah, so uh, yeah, there's usually a helicopter around my house around this time to tell me surrender. If I could free the hostages, but I don't really have any this time. Look, Pete, it's just like in Die Hard. I'm balancing on ledges. I'm talking to a German guy who wants to, like, mm. shoot me and blow up the... And blow the roof! Mm. And what about Carl Winslow? You got him? Yeah, uh, he's, he's down at the bottom, probably, in a squad car. Uh-huh, he's getting some Twinkies for his pregnant wife, right? Yep, because he's fat. And they're like, sure... So, of course, you... they've got to make a Twinkie joke. Yeah, yeah, they're like, sure, it's for your wife. It's probably for your... Your fat, unborn child that's so fat already because you're stupid. You're stupid cop. You're so stupid. And then Carl Winslow's like, whoa. I see. Take it easy on me. Man. I was up there on the ledge and I shot a rocket down at them, but they didn't die. Well, Dan, you know, they can't die from that far away. You know, Dan, sometimes you just gotta... Why don't you just... You, what was this game made in the 90s or something? You're always sneaky. You know, that's one thing I don't like about your... Play style. You're always so sneaky and smart, and think about your moves. Like if it was me, I just keep running. Yeah, and them. that's why you wouldn't win, Pete. Yeah, and that's why I'd probably give up like halfway through the game. I'm like, I can't beat these guys. What are you, Thomas Stout Twenty Five, Pete? I wouldn't. I wouldn't like give up the game. I'm not, Clearly, you would. I'm not Thomas Stout Twenty Five. Pete, but... you're Thomas Stout Twenty Five. Oh no. What are you, some kind of big old Thomas Stout Twenty Five, Pete? Listen, all I'm saying is, if you compare you disgust me, disgust me, Pete. I'm not. I'm what not. Are you, what are you Thomas... gonna marry your best friend's mom now? No, no, I'd rather date her at first and then see how it goes. Cause <laughs> probably marry. Can you imagine if I did? Uh, who's my my best friend's mom? Would be Chris Lowe and then his mom Judy. No thanks. No thanks, Dan. Well, I don't know. It's whoa, crumbs. And if, and if you were my best friend, which you sort of are, um, your mom's dead. Oh no! Well, I got shot with a poison an arrow. You know, and I, I don't want to bring that up, and I apologize for bringing it up, but I can't marry a corpse, Dan. Mm. Unless I dug your mom out of like her grave or whatever, and then married her. But then again, I wouldn't get any insurance for doing so. Well, you can't, Pete, because she was cremated. Well, Dan, what am I supposed to do? Dig up her corpse? How about not marry my mom, Pete? Well, Dan, I can't. Well, at first, we'd have to date. And she'd probably be a very quiet talker because she's dead. Yeah. So forget it. All right, Dan, I know I'm bringing up old wounds, but I can't marry your mom. I don't want you to. <laughs> yeah, I, think about it. I'd be like your, your stepdad. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Can't you see that this mm. this conversation about Thomas Stout mm. is tearing our friendship apart? Yeah, I that's can't. that's the extent of Thomas Stout Twenty Five's evil. Yeah, Thomas Stout Twenty Five, he's drinking that Kool Aid though. I don't know if you guys know about this, but he got a job at Walmart, right? And now he's drinking the Walmart Kool Aid, where he thinks everything that Walmart does is the best. Yeah, they're only ruining our country. Yeah, yeah, they are pretty much uh, screwing up the country not I mean there's multiple factors but Walmart pretty much uh, destroys everything that uh, people love and and dream of and stuff what do you think about that look these stormtroopers got a pack on their back yeah they're probably like oh he said drop your weapon Dan I think we're getting into the part of the game where you have want to use your lightsaber like all the time and your force power is like all the No, time. like the stormtroopers, you gotta slash them twice. Oh, we're not at the part where you gotta have them. You gotta have them, uh. You gotta have them. Oh, crap. I don't know. Do you ever get a force power that, like, lights them on fire? No. And cooks them for, like, 45 minutes or 20 minutes a pound or whatever it is? At 350 degrees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now, Dan, if you had to eat one character from Star Wars... Didn't we talk about this already? No, eat him. You had to name one. You had to name your yeah, kid. Yeah, but we talked about it in a la in other Let's Play, I think. Whoa, who I would eat? Yeah, and I think we talked about uh, Jabba the Hutt was going to be French, because he's a giant slug and French people are gross. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> we talked about Wookiee Burger and how Wookiee is oh, on right, sale right, at 99 right. cents a pound. All right, all right. And we talked about... Oh, see, Dan, after doing Let's Plays for like six odd years or whatever, however long it is, uh, you know, it's hard to come up with new material sometimes. Yeah. And you think about it and you're like, hmm, okay. And then you just stop Look thinking Look whose ship it is, Pete. It's IG-88 No, it's IG-88. The Who's that? IT-88, I mean. IG-88 was a bounty hunter from Empire Strikes Back. What? I'm talking nerd t talk, Pete. Oh. What? Who's IG-88 again? IG-88. Oh, the one with the face. Yeah. The one who turned out to be Leia? Maybe? I don't know. IG-88. Whoa, that's his spaceship down there, Pete. I'm going to drop some bombs down on his mom's. IG-88. That's the one that... Not Boba Fett or Django or we, what's his name? IT-88 is in this game. Oh, you mean 88, the robot. Yeah. We. You could have just said that, Dan. That's what I was trying to say, but I... I stammer and stutter and I'm a dum-dum. Man, I feel like I'm very... Verbally abusive toward myself in this episode. Yeah, you should probably stop or yeah. not. <laughs> Look, you put all that stuff into that thing and you're not even going to use it. I'll use it. Alright, now we got to use it. We're going to. Dan, I think this is a perfect time to stop the episode. Where are we, anyways? We're at the spaceport. Of what? Are we on disc two, for real? Well, actually, you know what? I think there was supposed to be a cutscene that we're going to have to insert in. Because uh, now that we're on disc two, the cutscenes won't load up. Yeah, and then, sadly, you won't hear any commentary over the cutscene, except for the final one. What's going to end up happening is... We'll do them. You, you won't hear any commentary for us through the cutscenes of this of, of this too. But the finale, we'll I'll throw it in and we'll we'll make like a little treat uh, audio track right. of us narrating something to that effect. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, uh, or don't. I don't know. Maybe you're watching this at like twelve o'clock at night, and you know your day's pretty much over. Uh, so enjoy the rest of your night. Um, maybe your weekend. I don't know when you're watching this. Enjoy your weekend. Or, like, enjoy the holidays. The holidays might be coming up. But if you're watching this, like, way later and it's not the holiday, then enjoy uh, whatever time you have left on Earth. Kyle Katarn looks like he's wearing a diaper underneath those pants. He probably is. It helps him from, uh, you know, not shitting himself. Or at least when he has to go. Because you never see him go to the bathroom ever. Got a very square head. Yeah, it's probably because he came out of his mom's vagina all weird. Alright, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.